This video features a high-end, limited edition collectible and is intended for adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. Today, we've got another Integrity Toys review for you all. We will be reviewing Dressed to Chill Tenzin Dockling, who is part of the Monarchs Om Collection for 2019. Featuring a revised body and reworked face sculpts, the Monarchs is the current and updated fashion royalty online from Integrity Toys. And we did previously review Lairs of a Man, Romaine Perrin from the same wave as Tenzin. So check out the link in the description if you would like to watch Watch our review of Romaine. We had a lot of thoughts to share on him and we did also discuss in detail our feelings about the changes to the Monarch's um, body sculpt as well in our Lux Life review videos. So if you want to check those out as well, I will link them in the description also. So this line focused on opulent male clothing and layered swappable fashion and priced at the staggering $175 price point. Let's see if Dress to Chill Tenzin is worth your hard earned money. Tenzin was, as we like to call him, a standard Integrity Toys release and we picked him up at our local dealer. So jumping straight into the packaging, we do have the standard navy blue Monarchs box with a magnetic sleeve you can pop open to see the doll more clearly. And on the back of the box, we have the Monarchs logo, Integrity Toys logo, and product and warning information. So opening up the sleeve, we can get a closer look at Tenzin and his yellow accessory compartment on the bottom of the box. I really appreciate how he was packaged. There are plastic wraps around his arms, um, you know, which I think is helpful because the jacket he's wearing seems very prone to staining. So I'm glad they considered that. And for this packaging, his head is tied back with ribbon rather than string, which is nice. A lot easier to take out. Tenzin has a very striking head sculpt. This particular screening draws you in with his dark eyes and thick eyebrows. He has soft pale lips as well. Complementing his fresh face look, he comes with two black stud earrings. Tenzin's hair is also very unique. It is rooted straight upward and is a blend of black and red strands. His sides are flocked and painted in a zigzag pattern to imitate the fade hairstyle. Tenzin is sporting a mahogany colored jacket with black and gray shoulder design. The pleather jacket has multiple pockets and a functioning zipper. Very cool, very fashionable. Although I do have to say these little glued on button pieces that they use sometimes are a little frustrating and I frequently tend to find that mine pop off. <laughs> Underneath the stylish jacket, Tenzin is wearing a sheer black shirt with a large black crossing arrow design on it. Below that shirt is another t-shirt. This time it's a red shirt with a series of the letter M, standing for Monarch, on it. Tenzin's pants are very unique as well. They are inspired by Hakama pants and Tenzin's version is shorter in length and has an extra layer of pants underneath. Another unique piece, Tenzin's shoes are a hybrid of socks and shoes made with a soft cloth material similar to socks, but the sole portion is made of rubber. It's very nice how easy these are to put on. Tenzin comes with a pair of black Wayfarer sunglasses and two metal rings. One is a simple cylinder ring, while the other is in the shape of a skull. This other ring is really cool. To carry all of his accessories, he can put them in his large black duffel bag. The duffel bag comes with a detachable shoulder strap and can be opened to put small items inside. So Tenzin actually comes with three hand swaps total. And I think this is really fun. I really appreciate that they did this. It allows him to be put in a lot of really different dynamic poses. The different hands have different gestures and some of the fingers are curled there you know some of them are better to have him holding certain things doing really cool poses definitely appreciate that they did this 
So he also comes with the usual Monarch's stand, which has a large set of metal prongs that you essentially have to adjust um, beneath the doll's arms so you can kind of move it depending on how you want to position them. Um, it's kind of an interesting stand. It's The dolls can get a little bit wobbly on these. All right, so here are our final thoughts on Dressed to Chill Tenzin Dockling. I think the reception of the Monarch has been pretty polarizing among Integra fans. I personally appreciate the concept, but dislike the execution. I personally understand that making the body slimmer will allow more options in dressing the doll without making them look too unnaturally bulky. But with the current offerings of Monarch dolls, I haven't found that concept fully realized yet. Also, with more clothing means an increase of price. Is it worth it that we get more clothing to restyle them, but at the cost of an increased price? Personally, I haven't seen an excess of extra clothing to warrant the extra dough that I'm spending. Even if I like a future Monarch doll, I can't see myself willing to spend $175 if all I'm getting is just an extra shirt or ring. The cost should balance with what you're getting, and I just don't see the balance here. Sen is a gorgeous doll, but he isn't worth the asking price. I'm willing to look past the awkward new body if the clothing that you're getting to dress them up with is exceptional. But I'm just not seeing it here in any of the Monarchs right now. I hope Integrity Toys will revisit this line and reconsider the cost to value they are asking us collectors to pay. Speaking as someone who has honestly not been that much of a fan of the Monarchs collection, Tenzin is a lot of fun and I was pretty excited to receive him from my local dealer. I think he has a gorgeous face sculpt and I love how stylish and modern he looks overall. The red highlights in his hair are really fun and I appreciate seeing more color pop on the boys. You know, we haven't honestly gotten very much of that um, since the Fashion Fairy Tale Style Lab and the My Little Pony collection. So it's nice to see fantasy hair on the boys make a bit of a comeback. His edgy accessories really make him pop and he's very photogenic, you know, really easy to take gorgeous photos of him. That all being said, he does still have a lot of the same setbacks we continue to see in the Monarchs. The unappealing over $170 price point still feels like overkill for what it is you're getting. And although I do love the fact that he comes with so many hand swaps and accessories, the fashions themselves are a mixed bag. The jacket and sheer shirt are both really beautiful, but the pants and shoes just feel like awkward pairings and I don't much personally enjoy them as individual pieces. So although Tenzin is, in my opinion, one of the most striking ones we've seen so far, I would maybe even say he's my favorite monarch. The monarchs continue to be a very mixed bag overall, and I think IT still needs new and improved innovations when it comes to the boys, which I definitely hope is something they'll still invest in because there's obviously really high potential there, and I am a huge fan of Integrity Toys male dolls. That was what initially got me into this brand because it's something that's largely missing in a lot of the rest of the doll market. So I hope Integrity revisits, revises, and, um, you know, can move forward bringing things that collectors want in male dolls. All right, so thank you for joining us for our review of Integrity Toys Dressed to Chill Tenzin Dockling. Make sure to let us know what you think of him and perhaps just the monarchs in general in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going about this. Thank you for sticking with us through yet another quarantine review. We hope you are all staying safe and healthy and we hope you are continuing to enjoy our content. If you have any suggestions, of course, you can let us know as well. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't and we will see you next time. Bye.